Good day everyone, I am Shannon Mendoza and today we will be exploring the art of crafting seamless web experiences through the power of CSS. Our focus will be on two critical aspects, styling for handheld devices and printing, and diving into the intricate styling of lists, tables, and forms, making your web pages not only visually appealing, but also user-friendly across different contexts. So, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, let's talk about responsive design. In today's uh, diverse landscape of devices, ensuring that our website look and function well on all screen sizes is crucial. Responsive design allows us to adapt seamlessly to devices of different sizes, providing a consistent and optimal user experience. So media queries. Media queries enable us to style based on conditions like screen size. It's a versatile tool for crafting designs that adapt and respond intelligently. We use media queries as a conditional statement in CSS. It, uh, it is used to check certain criteria and apply styles accordingly. So we use this for our style in handheld devices and print. So here we show you its syntax. So the media type specifies the type of media. Example, screen, print, uh, print or speech. While well, media feature describes specific characteristics of the device like max width, orientation, and resolution. So just a little preview, we will show you the syntax for handheld devices and for the print styles, we, uh, for the print styles which we will going to present to you next. Hello everyone, I am Kyle Alonso. Today we were exploring hand handheld devices styling essential for us. Top-notch user experience or on smartphones and tablets. Uh, let's let's start with handheld devices, smartphones and tablets. Users operate this on the go gadgets with smaller screens and touch the interaction requiring specific styling for an optim optimal experience. So this is where the media queries enter. We use them to select selectivity, apply styles based on device char characteristics for handheld device. We often target smaller screens ensuring our content suits the reduced viewing area. So now a quick demo when users switch to handheld devices. Leg legibility is the key see this example a uh, media query target screen under six, 600 pixels adjusting the font size to 14 pixels for a comfy reading experience next optimizing layout the back structures needs adjust adjustment for smaller screens here's another example where where you can add Additional, additional styles and media query targeting small screens creating a clean and users friendly layout so to give you an output of the looks like on handled here device here it is hello everyone i am bjorn demsik of Fredo. in this section we'll explore printing style a crucial aspect of a section ensuring that our web content looks like just a professional on a paper as it does on the screen. Let's begin by understanding the importance of printing styles. In print styles are essential for seamlessly translating our web content into professional and readable printed documents. Now let's talk about media queries for printing this. For, for printing, these queries allow us to apply styles is specifically tailored for documents they come into set they come into action when users in, when users initiate the print function ensuring that our content looks like polished and well performed and well formatted on a paper now let's dive in into practical dem demonstration our first 
example, involves modifying font file. In size for printed documents, this is a crucial ensuring that optimal readable on a paper. As you can see, the, the magic happens. In the media query targeting the print media type, we adjust the font family to Times New Roman and set the font size to 12 points. These changes makes our content looks like a readable made when readable when printed. On to our second example, implementing a page breaks for an improved print layout. Page breaks ensure a well-organized layout, avoiding awkward content breaks between pages. In this example, we use a media query targeting the print media type. We apply page break before property to, to heading elements, like example like H1, H2, H3, ensuring each, each heading starts a new page. This contributes to a clean and organized print layout. To give you an output of what it looks like on the screen, print styles. I'm Melbourne GB Laurente. Uh, in this section, we are delving into the art of styling list tables and forms as essential elements for creating visual appealing and user friendly web page. Let's kick things off with list styling. Lists are a fundamental way to organize content and their styling and greatly enhance the overall design of a pages. And our first example, uh, let's focus on an under list. We'll explore how changing the list item style and adjusting mar margins and can add attached gravity and improve visual heresy. Heresy. As you can see, uh, we have a simple under list, but with a few CSS tweaks, we can change bullet styles and spacing between items for a more polished look. In changing list item style, see, this CSS rule targets under list all elements. The property list style type is used to specify style of the list, list item marker. The symbol or shape that appears before each list item. In this example, the style is set to square, which means that each list item will be marked with a square bullet. You can you can replace square with other values like circle, this, none, etc. to change the appearance of this item marker. Adjusting margins, uh, this CSS rule targets list items, li elements within any type of list, ordered or unordered list tables and forms with the style sheet, the property margin. Margin button is used to seat the margin at the bottom of each list item. In this example, uh, the margin is set to 10 pieces providing spacing between each list item. You can adjust this value based on your design preferences. So this combination of these two sets of rules ensures that an ordered list UL will have a square list item markers and each list item LI will have a bottom margin of 10 pieces for spacing you can customize both the list item style and margin according to our design requirements uh, that's all thank you uh, i'm jenny very catalonia so moving on styling tables they're essential for presenting data and proper styling ensures clarity and readability so in this example, we'll see how setting the table width and adding borders and padding to cells can transform a basic table into a well-organized and visually appealing presentation and data. So um, setting table width, this rule targets all table elements 
um, this property with 100% is used to set the width of the table to 100% of its containing elements. Um, this property borders collapse is used to collapse the borders between adjacent table cells. Period, this creates a cleaner and more seamless appearance for this table. So, um, adding borders and padding cells, um, this CSS rule targets or TD or table data and TH or table headers element within the table. Um, this property border 1px solid and hash add a1 pixel solid border with um, a light gray color hash add to a search table cell um, this defines clear boundaries between cells the property adding 8px add 8 pixels of padding to each cells both in table data cells or td and the table header cells or th um, padding enhancement and the spacing between the content and the cell borders providing better visual separations and you can customize the width border style and padding values based on your based on your design preferences so now let's talk about styling forms so forms are crucial parts of user interaction a thoughtful styling can make the form feeling, experience, seamless, and enjoyable. In this example, we explore how adjusting the form width and styling input fields and text areas can enhance the overall, uh, the overall look and feel of a form, uh, creating a visually cohesive design. Here, in adjusting form width, the property max width is 400px. That sets the maximum width of the form to 400 pixels. This helps control the form speed and prevent it from becoming too wide on larger screens. The property margin is zero auto. Uh, it centers the form horizontally within its container by setting the left and right margins to auto. This creates a visually pleasing layout. Next is styling input fields and text areas. The property width is 100%. It ensures that the input fields and text areas fill the entire width of their container. This makes them responsive to different screen sizes. The property padding is 10px. Adds, it adds 10 pixels of padding to the input fields and text areas, improving their visual appearance. Next is the property margin bottom is 15px. This sets the bottom margin between form elements, providing uh, sp spacing for a better layout. The properties border, border radius, and border 1px solid, number sign CC, collectively add a 1 pixel solid border with a light gray color and rounded corners to input fields and text areas. This enhances the clarity and aesthetics. So, in summary, these CSS rules ensure that the form has controlled and centered width while input fields and text areas have a responsive width, padding, spacing, and clean border with round corners for an improved visual appearance. You can adjust the values based on your specific design requirements.